When you watch a fish swim, you see it cut through water as its scales lock together like tiles on a roof. Over time, its shape changed so it never loses speed in the current. What if we could copy those scales to help giant ships move faster? By adding fish scale patterns to a ship's surface, we could lower friction and save fuel. That's the question 10 researchers asked. Could copying fish scales make ships move faster? After months of hard work and experimentation, they published their findings in a paper titled Laser Ablating Biomimetic Periodic Array Fish Scale Surface for Drag Reduction. Sailors have battled the stubborn resistance of water for thousands of years. As early as 1200 BC, Phoenician sailors applied pitch and copper onto their hulls to help their ships glide over the Mediterranean. Three centuries later, Isaac Newton laid the mathematical groundwork for understanding fluid resistance in his Principia of 1687. Yet even now, the drag created by friction between a ship's hull and the water, known as skin friction drag, still costs the shipping industry over $30 billion each year in extra fuel. That's the challenge our 10 researchers set out to solve. They cut fish scale patterns into aluminum with a precision laser just like what a custom shop keychain does to engrave your name. Then they poured silicone over the patterns, similar to how a baker would, to create cake molds. Finally, they ran those flexible mold sheets through a mini water tunnel to see which slipped through fastest. And the results were pretty impressive. By using the fish scale patterns, the researchers cut skin friction drag by a striking 10.26%, which is like saving $50 on your $500 grocery bill each month. By experimenting with the fish scale spacings from 42 micrometers up to 994 micrometers, the researchers discovered that the tightest 42 micrometer gap gave the biggest drop in drag of all the patterns tested. That means that on a container ship that burns roughly 150 tons of fuel a day, a 10% drag reduction saves about 15 tons daily. Now I think that this paper is a big step toward beating skin friction drag on ships. So far, the team has only tested their design on tap water, but I would love to see how the coatings hold up in true seawater with all its salt. If those patterns still cut drag out at seawater, we'd be one step closer to greener, faster shipping. All right, and now the meme of the week. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into fish scale drag reduction, hit subscribe and check out our video on how shark skin inspired textures could make ships even better. See you next time.